You think Mars is just a dead red rock floating in space? Think again. Shifting sand dunes and mysterious rock formations, ancient riverbeds, dust devils, and tech that puts your phone camera to shame? Mars has a lot going on right now, let me explain. NASA just dropped some of the clearest images of Mars we've ever seen. And the internet is having a field day. Why? Because apparently, we can see sand dunes on Mars better than we can see someone stealing packages from our front porch. These stunning 360-degree shots from the Curiosity rover are going viral again, even though they were taken way back in 2015. But now, people are noticing one strangely hilarious thing. How can NASA photograph a sand dune 140 million miles away? But your $200 security cam can't read a license plate 20 feet out? Let's break it down. This image is from the Bagnold Dune Field near the base of Mount Sharp, one of the most intriguing spots on Mars. Captured on the rover's 1,197th Sol, that's a Martian day, this full-circle panorama shows active sand dunes, sweeping landscapes, and even parts of the rover itself. The mast cam, that's the main camera on Curiosity, captured this in crazy high resolution. NASA even color-adjusted the photo to mimic Earth sunlight, so it looks like how we'd see it with our own eyes. People online are shocked. In classic internet style, some users went full roast mode. One comment nailed it. Do you think the people exploring Mars also install your Walmart security system? Touché. Here's the serious side. NASA's cameras aren't just better. They're custom-built, mission-critical scientific instruments. The mast cam was developed by Malin Space Science Systems and is designed to do geological analysis on another planet. We're talking HD imaging, stereo vision, and precision optics. Compare that to your average commercial camera, which costs a couple hundred bucks and is optimized for motion detection and basic visuals. Very different priorities. But it's not just pretty pictures. These dunes are active. They shift about a meter every Earth year. Studying them, help scientists understand wind, erosion, and surface processes on Mars, which is crucial for planning future missions and even possible human exploration. So yeah, while your doorbell cam might still be stuck in the 2000s, NASA is quietly making history 140 million miles away, one ridiculously crisp image at a time. And hey, before we move on, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe upgrade your security cam. Mars dropped a bombshell, and it's not from a meteor. Scientists have just discovered what could be the biggest clue yet in the search for alien life. A massive hidden ocean buried deep beneath the surface of the red planet. And it's not just a few puddles. We're talking enough water to cover the entire planet in a mile-deep global ocean. Using seismic data collected by NASA's InSight lander, which operated on Mars from 2018 to 2022, scientists built a detailed map of what lies beneath Mars's crust. And what they found is jaw-dropping, an underground reservoir buried between 7 and 13 miles down trapped inside fractured volcanic rock. That's deeper than we've ever drilled here on Earth and almost impossible to reach with today's tech. But what it might be hiding makes the effort worth imagining. Could something be living in that hidden ocean? One of the lead researchers, UC Berkeley's Professor Michael Manga, says it's totally possible. Here on Earth, Life thrives in the strangest places. Deep sea vents, underground mines, boiling sulfur springs. If Mars has liquid water, even deep underground, 
it could have life too. Mars was once a water world, rivers, lakes, even oceans. But about 3.5 billion years ago, it dried up. What happened? Scientists believe a sudden climate shift, maybe a lost magnetic field or a cosmic impact, stripped the surface dry. But now, it seems the water didn't escape into space. Instead, it may have soaked into the crust, pooling into vast underground reservoirs. Here's the problem. The deepest hole we've ever dug on Earth, the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia, went just 7.6 miles down. This Martian ocean starts deeper than that. Right now, reaching it is beyond us. But NASA isn't giving up. They're already collecting surface samples that might hold signs of past life. The Perseverance rover has been gathering samples in Jezero Crater since 2021, and a Mars sample return mission was supposed to launch in 2026. But delays have pushed it back to 2040. NASA is now looking to private companies to help speed things up. If someone figures out how to tap into Mars's deep crust, we might one day reach that underground ocean and finally answer the biggest question of all. Are we alone? What do you think is hiding beneath the surface of Mars? Pause the videos and drop your theories in the comments. Aliens, microbes, or maybe just a really lonely puddle. Every spring, something strange crawls across the surface of Mars. But it's not what you think. Meet the Martian spiders. Creepy, massive, and completely natural. And no, they're not aliens either. But they are one of the weirdest recurring events on the Red Planet. These strange, spidery shapes, spotted mostly in a region called Inca City, appear every spring near Mars's South Pole. To the untrained eye, they look like swarms of insects or something crawling under the surface. But in reality, these are not creatures at all. They're the result of one of Mars' wildest natural processes, involving exploding dry ice. Here's how it works. Mars gets cold. We're talking minus 123 degrees Celsius during winter. That's so cold, carbon dioxide freezes, turning into solid dry ice that coats the surface. As spring begins, that dry ice doesn't melt. It sublimates, jumping straight from solid to gas. But when the gas is trapped under surface layers, pressure builds. Eventually, boom! The gas erupts through the ice, blasting dust and particles into the air like a geyser. When the dust falls back down, it creates these bizarre starburst patterns. These aren't tiny doodles in the sand. These spiders can be anywhere from 45 to 1,000 meters wide. That's up to 10 football fields across. Most of the spiders show up in an area called Inca City, officially known as Angustus Labyrinthus. Discovered in 1972, the region got its nickname because its mysterious ridges resemble Incan ruins back on Earth. To this day, no one knows exactly how those ridges formed. But scientists believe the landscape might be made of sand dunes turned to stone over millions of years, not an alien city. Here's the cool part. Mars has seasons, just like Earth, but they're twice as long. Since November 12, 2024, it's spring again on the South Pole, and scientists are awaiting to see the spiders burst from beneath the surface once more. From geysers of exploding dry ice to kilometer-wide dust patterns, Mars proves again that it's weird, wild, and worth watching. If you thought spiders on Earth were creepy, Try explaining these to your arachnophobic friends. Hit that like button if Mars just blew your mind. And subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. They definitely aren't aliens. Probably. Moving on.
Buried beneath the icy crust of Mars' North Pole, something strange has been found, something dense, something shapeless. And one of these buried anomalies? It looks eerily like a dog. This isn't sci-fi, it's science. And Mars just got a whole lot weirder. Scientists have just unveiled the first true global gravity map of Mars, and it reveals something unexpected. 20 dense blobs hidden beneath the surface of an ancient Martian seabed. These blobs lie in the Borealis Basin, a massive impact zone that used to be an ocean over three billion years ago. One of the blobs? It looks like a dog, seriously. They're massive, up to hundreds of kilometers wide, and 300 to 400 kilograms per cubic meter denser than the surrounding rock. So how did they even find these hidden Martian beasts? Not with a shovel, but with gravity. Researchers used data from NASA's InSight lander and satellites like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Mars Express. These spacecraft measure tiny orbital wobbles caused by underground mass, revealing gravitational anomalies. So what are these blobs? Honestly, scientists aren't sure. They could be ancient volcanic remnants or compressed rock from meteor impacts. But the weirdest part? There's no sign of them at the surface. They're completely hidden. And it's not just the North Pole hiding secrets. The map also confirms a gigantic lava plume beneath Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain in the solar system. That 1,100-mile-wide 1, blob is less dense, likely ancient lava that may still be warm, suggesting Mars volcanoes might not be dead after all. These buried blobs could hold the key to understanding Mars's geological history, past oceans, or even signs of ancient life. Scientists are already proposing a new mission, called MACHULS, to send twin spacecraft into orbit and probe these blobs in even more detail. A buried Martian dog, ancient lava plumes, and invisible blobs hiding under ancient seas, Mars keeps surprising us and we've only scratched the surface. So, the question you all want to know. Everyone's talking about colonizing Mars, from space agencies to billionaire dreamers like Elon Musk. But let's ask the real question. Can we actually live there, not visit, not orbit? I mean, survive, thrive, raise families, build cities, let's break it down. To live on Mars, we have to get there first. And that's no walk in the park. NASA's planning a crewed mission in the 2030s, but SpaceX? They want to go much sooner. Musk's Starship, the largest, most powerful rocket ever built, is designed to be fully reusable and Mars ready. And while it's still in the testing phase, each launch brings it closer to real missions. In fact, Musk says we could see an uncrewed starship on Mars by 2026 and people on Mars by 2028. And for once, that might not be total fantasy. With Falcon 9's track record and starship's potential, the transportation piece is nearly there. But here's the thing, getting to Mars is just the beginning. Living there? That's a nightmare. Mars has almost no atmosphere, no breathable air, one-third of Earth's gravity, and no magnetic field, which means deadly radiation from the sun and space constantly bombards the surface. Get your Factor 50 sunscreen out. To survive, colonists would need to live in heavily shielded bunkers, likely underground, or in structures made from local materials, maybe even 3D printed from Martian dust. NASA's working on it. They've even tested using Martian regolith simulant for building, and future moon missions will trial space construction tech. But this is at least a decade away. 
even if we build those homes, can humans physically survive long-term on Mars? We don't know. One-third gravity might mess with our muscles, bones, organs, even our ability to have children. We've only studied weightlessness and microgravity, not partial gravity. Your spine, blood flow, vision, everything could change in unpredictable ways. Bottom line, we might not be biologically compatible with Mars. So let's say you do make it to Mars. You survive the radiation, you adapt to the gravity. Now what? You're living in a glorified tent on a red wasteland. Everything, food, medicine, spare parts, has to come from Earth. Want a tomato? No Amazon Prime. That's a nine-month delivery window. We don't have the tech to support large populations on Mars. No supply chain, no manufacturing, no hospitals. Not yet. Despite the hype, colonizing Mars is still science fiction. Yes, we're building the rockets. Yes, billionaires are pushing the envelope. And yes, one day, humans will step on Martian soil. But colonization? Raising families? Building cities? That's still a huge unknown. Maybe it's possible, maybe not. We just don't know yet. And until we send real humans on real missions to test these limits, Mars remains a dream, not a destination. Can we live on Mars? Maybe. But surviving on another world isn't just about rockets. It's about rethinking what it means to be human. Would you volunteer for a one-way trip to Mars? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.